Hey friend, it's Summer from HammondsNest.com. I'm so happy that you caught this video today. This is a quick one that I put together for you. I sped up a lot of the process here because the list of supplies is so short that really that means the instructions are super short. But um, I've got all the details over on my blog at HammondsNest.com. But I'm going to kind of just talk to you here while you're watching the video, give you some additional thoughts and notes that you might not even get from the blog. And I just hope you enjoy seeing this one come together. And I hope it inspires you to give something similar a try. So I've got this repurposed gallon pickle jar that you saw at the beginning. You'd have to clean it out, of course, on the inside, get all the sticky labels off. I picked up some of this nautical rope at Dollar Tree. So this is a pretty thrifty DIY. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to create a higher end looking decor piece uh, for much less than you would pay for it like in the store. So we don't want you to look at this and think pickle jar. And so I think that it's starting to look really nice. And so I'm just taking the rope and I'm gluing it along the edges of the pickle jar here, creating, working towards a, a design of a lantern. So I just used high heat, regular hot glue to do this. I did put on my finger protectors because you are working closely with the hot glue. And so I ended up creating like eight different sections. I went ahead and glued those all vertical. And then I just kind of trimmed up everything, getting it cleaned up. There's a lot of variations you could do for this one. A lot of different textiles and different kinds of rope you could use, different size jars. But I really, over on the blog, I give you like all the, the links of the rope and everything in case you use an identical pickle jar, gallon size pickle jar. So you can absolutely check that out. But then I decided to cut two strips going around of the rope and I glued that on the top close to before where it kind of changes and starts to go up towards the lid of the jar. And then I did one on the bottom. Now I liked the simple look because I wanted to be able to see what was in the lantern. So I kept it like this, but again, lots of variation ideas for this one. Also to finish it off and to give it that higher end look for obviously less because we've got a free pickle jar here and then a couple dollars worth of rope. I'm using uh, some of the same rope just to go along the top and I ended up using three pieces of rope to stack on top of each other and it covered up that very nicely. Now, if you have your lid and you want to repurpose it, you could absolutely like glam that up. I did end up using it on this. You could glam it up and keep it on the top, put a little decorative knob or something up there, or you could put it as a base underneath it. But that is it. I told you. So it's rope and a jar and that's it and some hot glue. So I really like the way this looks. I'm going to have fun with this wooden charger here that you're seeing me. I'm going to style it for you three ways. And so you're getting to see me kind of live design it here. Again, over on the blog at HammondsNest.com, you'll see after pictures. You can pin them to your Pinterest boards if you just kind of want to keep this idea in mind. And so I'm having fun decorating for you saw the beach scene. And then now I'm doing a little fall feel. And so that's really, really beautiful. I like that this one's so neutral. So that means it's transitional into any season, any decor style, really. It does have a little bit of a nautical feel at first, but it has a real farmhouse style feel too. So I ended up really having fun with this one. Lastly, this is the most simple look. And this one will be great for spring or just everyday design. I didn't even put anything but an LED candle in the jar and then had some simple greenery. So ta-da on that one. I told you that one was definitely the easiest to style. Wherever you see this one looking great in your home, I hope you enjoyed seeing it a few different ways. It was certainly fun to kind of put the looks together. I enjoyed the beach scene during the summertime, the end of the summer at my house, and then enjoying it for the fall now. And then I'll probably even decorate it for Christmas when it gets to be that time. So Again, remember to head over to the blog at HammondsNest.com. You'll find all the project details, including the measurements of the rope and any other kind of fun notes and directions for this DIY. Thank you for hanging out and seeing this one come together. I hope it inspires you, as always, to stay creative and try something new. Y'all have a wonderful day and come back soon to see another crafty idea. Bye-bye.